everyone is focusing on these hot topics such as blockchain and the leveraging of machine learning and AI algorithms for in financial services. Uh, but those are primarily focused on developing countries and services for those who already are quote unquote banked. They have access, easy access to banking services. What's exciting to us and what's really promising is the opening up of the world of financial services products for the underbanked or the so-called unbanked, especially in emerging countries where they may not have as sophisticated of a infrastructure as we have in developing, developed countries. But just like what we saw with the, uh, with the mobile phones and the fact that some emerging countries that didn't even have landline kind of leapfrogged right directly into uh, mobile phones and all of a sudden they can do things that even us on the state side or in the Western world can, can still have trouble doing, they do it with ease, whether it's paying through minutes or using their mobile phones. Uh, whether smartphones or feature phones to transact and so on. Uh, so the advent and the application of things such as blockchain or, or algorithmically driven financial services modeling uh, could open the world to this vast, vast uh, population segments who are currently outside of the realms of uh, traditional financial services products. And that could open a lot of opportunity. We saw what microfinancing did uh, in terms of uh, helping many, many millions of people by giving them access to a product um, that's affordable and, and, and responsible. So our hope is that this would be a good trend to follow and you'll see more applications of it in shorter term.